Hello and welcome to Crafty Thursday. I'm here today with Beth and we're going to paint some more minis. Beth. Yes. This is what I'm working on. Okay. See, this is Trizzle. He's a tiefling, but he doesn't have big horns because his horns were shaved off. It's all part of the backstory. And he's, um, he's, I've gotten two layers of paint on him, so I'm kind of on the finishing touches phases. I need to add some depth to his clothing and some more details, but that's my Trizzle. Here's what Beth's going to work on. This is a troll, a scrawny, nasty, gnarly troll. Now, Beth, what choices are you going to make with your paint colors for this troll? Well, initially looking at him, I thought a nice green, like a brown, make him look like he's just... And what is that? If you are following along at home... Scaly hide. Yes, with your Army Painter War Paints. Scaly hide. Now, we also have a couple other greens. We've got an angel green, which dar is darker, and then a green skin green, which is even darker. So three shades of green. Yeah. Now, Beth, when I paint minis and terrain, I usually work from darkest to lightest. So if I know that all of his skin's gonna be green, my first coat would probably be the darker green. Mm -hmm. And then you can go back with a second coat, either with the same green, if you like how it dries, or a lighter green to kind of change it up. Or you can go dark green, two coats, and then a dry brush for highlights of the lighter green. I like that. Now, he has hair, matted, dreaded, motley hair. What are you gonna do for that? I think I'm gonna go with the brown. This is just oak brown. Mm -hmm. but then I have leather brown and monster brown. Yeah. I'm um, probably gonna... The other way. Which way? Forward. This yeah, way? There you go. Perfect. Okay. So then you might do brown for his hair, and then what about his loincloth? I was thinking like a light, light brown. Like a beige, like a yeah. light. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, that'll be later anyway. All right, so you're going to start doing that, and you're going to do the base coat in green. Okay. Meanwhile, friends, I'll be working on Trizzle. Um, two coats of, of color is more than enough, really, for the Triz. Um, so now what I need to do is kind of define these other features. So I think, I think what I'm going to do, um, and by the way, Beth, this is a wet palette, so you just need a tiny little drop. Because okay. unlike your art class, Bill paid for all of these things. Okay. So um, we're going to shake up our paints really good, put okay. the cap on, okay. play like you're playing drums. It's actually a good workout. Get them biceps going. Yep, and then flip them, do that. Oh, God, it's exhausting. All right, so I don't know. I think I want to go with this orc blood purple. But I'm not going to go on the wet palette. I'm going to go on the dry palette. And there's a reason for it. I'm going to take my detail brush, get it a little damp, dry that off. I'm going to tap so a just, little bit of this. Just a little drop of this stuff. Yep. Tiny little drop. That's all you need. It's amazing how far it will go. I'm going to work on Trizzle's head. Ooh. Specifically, I'm going to clean up around. I feel like this troll should have a name. You can name him. Um, he has no name. What would a troll's name be? Trunky. Trunky. Hmm. Or uh, some sort of like noise. Like not really a name that you can write down, just like a <clears throat> mm. What's your name? Mm. Yeah, see, I think that's, that's Is that enough. the jam you want to go with? Mm. <clears throat> This is my troll. His name is... <clears throat> this is my troll. I hello. My name is Beth. This mm -hmm. is my troll friend. His name is... Uh. <clears throat> he, he likes to eat pig, bacon. No, this troll... This troll's a vegan. <laughs> a vegan troll, Beth? It's inspired by Reagan, so he's not really a vegan. He just likes to say... That he's <laughs> he's vegan-ish. Like, vegan <laughs> he likes to say he's a vegan, but then he likes to also go to Chipotle. He likes to go to Noodles. Noodles and, and get company. Chicken on mac and cheese, which is two things that are not vegan. 
cheese and chicken. Chicken mac and cheese is yummy for the masses. Ooh, too much paint. Blot that off, Bill. Got too much paint on Drizzle's face. Very fine features on this mini. This mini brought to you by Tricky Troy, my patron, who visited us. And then he came to visit and they brought some yummy candy for me and Carafa. Was that the guy who brought the baklava? He brought all that stuff and a bowl of rice. No, actually not rice, but he brought all sorts of goodies. Okay, man, Trizzle's head is looking much better, much healthier. I'm gonna hit that tail. He was indeed looking a little sickly. Well, and this Beth speaks to my philosophy on painting and crafting, which is that, you know, sometimes you start doing something and you're disappointed with the initial result. But remember, paint has to dry. And also, you have to give it a chance to reach its ultimate level of success. Sometimes that ultimate level of success takes multiple layers. It takes a while to get there, but you'll get there, trust me. Life is just layers, Bill. Mm -hmm. Stacks on stacks on stacks. Racks on racks on racks. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to make him look like he smells bad. That's one way to look at things. <laughs> he looks like he smells bad. Okay, so I have to let Trizzle's head and tail dry before I get into the dry brushing coats. But as you all can see through the miracle of the um, camera, Dave, is that in a good position to see the triz? The Trizzle? For shizzle, my trizzle. There he is. That's trizzle right now. I'm just gonna let him sit there and dry, and all of you can marvel at his amazing qualities. Now, back to Eddie Maiden. Some of you might remember that I picked up this crappy sculpt of Eddie, the mascot from Iron Maiden. And I started a repaint on him, which is coming along swimmingly. Um, I did his hair. I did his jeans. I even got a highlight coat on his jeans. His crappy white t-shirt. He has flesh. He has a flesh tone. Um, but his hair is black and it needs to have some grayish white spill into it. So I'm going to clean out my brush. Beth, did you know with these very fancy brushes that you don't actually want to mash the, the brush into um, any hard surface? You want to kind of wiggle it in the water. Wiggle it around? Wiggle it around, yes. And I gently keep that intact. So <clears throat> for Eddie's shirt and his hair, I need to get a little bit of um, dry brushed, like white highlights across there. So I'm gonna dig into the old big fat box of paints and hopefully not drop it like Hadari did. Notice how I'm just name no, dropping like Hadari. I was gonna say, you just just you name just dropping, him out, call him out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get my trusty matte white. And I'm not gonna need very much, folks, because all I'm gonna do when we dry brush Eddie is give him a little, little tappy tap. Oh, ha, 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 ha. there's a special girl who just hey. came to visit. Hey. Her name is Samantha. She came to visit, and she's going to paint a mini Samantha. It's Sam, everybody. It's Sam. Hello, Sam. Hi, baby. How are you? Sam, we're painting minis here on Crafty, <gasps> oh, Crafty oh, Thursday. You can, is, you can paint a mini. His name is... His name is... Mm, his name exactly. Is, uh, there are different pronunciations. Did you do that one? Mm-hmm. That's so awesome. Some of these are, like, so right now... Bethy's just starting that guy, so she she needs like to do the whole base coat thing. Yeah, he's looking 
He's looking like Shrek's ugly cousin right now. So I'm gonna do dry brushing <laughs> some highlights on time. Eddie's hair. So I'm gonna try to do this, Dave. Can you see Eddie's hair in there? So just basically dusting, just dusting a little bit across that black hair. Wow. So you're like the new Bob Ross. Just gonna dust it a little bit across that hair. Create a little bit of And we're gonna just bring out sunshine. some of the texture there. Cause Eddie's supposed to be kind of like a zombie. You know, a metalhead kid who, who went to a concert and never came back quite the same. Mm -hmm. So he's got a base of black hair, but now I'm just dusting it ever so slightly. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna fill that brush up again with white. And this seems counterintuitive, but then I'm gonna brush it all off. See, and then what I'm gonna do is hit up that t-shirt for a little more of the dry brushing. Gotta get that dry brush up on there. He did the dry brush. I'm gonna get his armpit. It's Ooh. a good good place. You don't wanna mess with a troll. I'm guessing. You really gotta get up in there. Yeah. Gotta get all up in there. Now we're gonna do his tetas. <laughs> <Tetas. Yeah. laughs> and then... So then, we need a little more paint on the brush and then again counterintuitively you put paint on and then you you dry it off and then we're going to hit this again right here wow whoever made this is very talented because it's very detailed oh yeah it seems very detailed is that sarcasm no it's really <laughs> i was gonna say it like there's does. you see all them little bumps and look at his face like well so the dry brushing layer is where you really start to bring out the detail i the just detail. think i don't know who made this the deets and the look tails. at there's like a vein whoever made this is extremely talented i would like you to make the little sculptures they're gonna put on my wedding cake that'd be a good business making minis but like for <laughs> your wedding cake <gasps> okay well <laughs> thanks Sam uh yeah people keep thinking it's normal gum <laughs> until they just take it and I'm like it is absolutely incredible you guys to see what dry brushing um, highlights onto a mini sculpt does absolutely mind-blowingly incredible because what it does is it picks up all the details now I'm gonna put that Eddie on there okay so here's here's Eddie you could see his hair right Dave you could see the hair you could see the creases in his pants and in his t-shirt and adding that highlight adds that gray into his hair that frosted kind of um, you know, zombie kind of vibe to him. And I'm going to say that Eddie Maiden is reborn right here, buddy. Reborn. Now I might decide to go back over with another kind of yellow sickly coat to make him look yellowish. A mite. That's a big mite. Happy Huge mite, mite Beth. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to drop some of my red from Trizzle's jacket. And I'm gonna mix one tiny little baby drop of white. And why am I doing this? Is it to make pink, you ask? Nope. I'm gonna mix this on my dry palette for a much lighter red, a much lighter red. And then I'm going to wipe that off. I'm gonna get a bunch of paint off the brush. And then I'm going to start hitting Trizzle's back. So I'm gonna show you, here's Trizzle's backside. You can see that. Now I'm going to put on this highlight coat, this dry brush. So I'm going to go in and just ever so lightly, just feather. I don't, I already don't like it, son of a bitch. <laughs> I already don't like it. Everything's just a happy mistake. Was Bob Ross even Southern? Yeah. Okay. I got to say, every time I've ever watched Bob Ross, which isn't many, I have fallen asleep. He's not the most stimulating person. Well, that's kind of the point, Beth. I. It's like a public access art show to relax you. Well, then I guess it's successful. Mm-hmm. 
happy little clouds. I like this. So see, what I did was kind of hit the coat. So there's like, it looks like a little more worn in certain places. Yeah. Like okay. where the folding would, or the clothing would like mm -hmm. crease and fold. Yes, precisely. Good. Good. Now I'm done with that red coat. I can't use the same brush because that's done. What I need to do though, people, is because I don't like to waste paint. So what am I going to do with that weird peachy light red that I just made? What are you I'll tell do? you. I'll tell you, Beth. Good question. You asked. I'm glad you asked. What are you, what are you these um, elementals that I started previously have like these crystals. I'm going to use this dumb red, see if I like it on them crystals. Ah, very and I resourceful. I can tell you that I don't. But guess what? But guess what? Too late. You can just paint on over that. That's true. See, Beth, that's the key. If you don't like it, paint over it. Well, maybe. I don't know. You just can't do that with people because they get mad. Yeah. It's harder to paint over people. You could dump, like, I guess, like a paint bucket on them or something. Mm hmm um, But in my personal experiences, that doesn't really work all that well. Yeah, I agree. They normally make you pay for your dry cleaning, and then you're out, like, 50 bucks. Yep. So... Normally... This weird reddish color probably won't work for the crystals that I, in the way that I thought it would, but that's okay. It's just an experiment. Well, if you add highlights, it'll make it look all shiny. Mm hmm Just a little bit of an experiment. And I might want to use some more vibrant colors and some metallics. You know, because I see this elemental guy bursting up from the ground. And I think to myself, well, what couldn't that elemental do? He's so empowered. Uh, is there anything he couldn't do? Yes. Like what? I don't think he can swim. <laughs> He's an earth elemental. He'd probably just sink. Or maybe he'd just walk to the bottom of the ocean. So there's a little bit of um, this dumb red pink that I added that I don't like, but it's okay. What else? Now yeah, I'll try it. I still got some of that mix left. I'll try it on one of these here stones. On the other elemental. Beth, um, in previous episodes of Crafty Thursday, I talked about how you get a steady hand. How do you develop your steady hand? Me? Yeah, what do you do to paint? I normally avoid drinking coffee. Okay. I haven't had coffee today, which is good. That's a good tip. Um, I also hold the brush a little farther away instead of so close. Because if you're too close, I don't know. I, feel, yeah. I find it a little, it's like writing. Okay. Um, what do you do to, to maintain, maintain control over your brush or... Do you have any special techniques for brush um, management? You know, how you, your style? Well. How do you avoid having really obvious brush strokes? When I paint, I paint with a lot of paint. <laughs> but I'm not gonna do that. Um, but that's how I normally avoid a lot of brush strokes. It was just heavier paint. paint, but also going like the same direction. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's an important thing, right? Yeah, because especially when it's still wet, because then it just kind of clashes. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever painted something this small. Paint well, my doll's faces. you're going to gain um, 50 experience points yes. painting that mini. Yes. Now, I have used up my um, stupid highlight coat that I don't like. Now I'm going to wash that brush out because it's a, one of the crappy inferior brushes. So I'm just going to stub that out. 
I don't like that you're putting down your brush. Well, Ooh. it is. I mean, I, I have terrain brushes that I use to paint terrain that they don't have to be in great shape because terrain's bigger and you can cover up more with paint and varying brush strokes or you can use sponges and stuff. But when you're painting minis, you need a very detailed brush. You need That is indeed what precision. I am gathering. Okay. He does look like Shrek's just like See, cousin. Do you see why I said to start with the darker green? Yeah, because then Cause I can I, go over it. Yeah, I think if you do a solid base coat of that darker green on all of his skin, then you could do another layer with the scaly hide, and that'll that'll really give it some dimension, depth. some depth. Especially in all those little cracks with a yeah. more detailed brush. That's going to look fire. So Trizzle's jacket, remember how I was literally just complaining how I didn't like how that looks? Well, yeah. I changed my mind because now it dried, and I like how it looks. But I need to do something better with his shirt. His nice blue shirt needs a little bit of highlighting. So I'm going to ever so slightly, and I mean ever so slightly, on my dry palette, I'm going to hit just the tiniest bit, tiniest bit, to dry brush this in. You know, you kind of remind me of... Bob Ross? You know, Brick from the Middle. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Brick? I think his name's Brick. He always whispers to himself. Dry brush. Yeah, like that. Exactly like that. Okay, I'm going to hold up Trizzle, and I'm going to work steadily on his shirt. Work on his shirt. On his shirt. On his shirt. I'll show you a clip later, and you'll be like, oh shit, that's me. What is that noise? I'll bet you 10 bucks he's making a TikTok. ASMR painting. ASMR. ASMR. I don't want to knock people who like ASMR, but it's not really my thing. It kind of freaks me out. I think of people being all breathy. It's kind of gross. Right now, I'm not even trying. I'm just whispering because I'm concentrating so hard. My concentration is hard. The sun would hit, and it's looking magnificent. It's called etching. Edge, edge, edge. Edge, edge, edge. Do you have like a favorite mini painter? Yeah, DoD Spec Ops. He's my man. He's the best. He's the best. He's the best. DoD Spec Ops. He's a fine, fine painter. I don't know how he has the paint. To do it, I would kill myself. Okay, now I'm, I'm slightly miffed because I'm seeing as I go in closer. All right, low key though, doesn't that shirt look better with a little height, like a little dry brush highlight on it? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe where the the oh shit, maybe where the jacket like folds in, like. In there, there would be like a shadow from the jacket. Yes, so maybe... I have to go back over that. Yeah. So that means, son of a gun. So you know what I'm going to do, Beth? What are you going to do, Beth? Because I don't like to waste paint. Clean my pretty brush out. And then I'm going to take this shitty brush and I'm going to take this white. I'm going to load up the paintbrush, and guess what I'm going to do on my elementals? Yeah. Oh, this is easy. So one of the things that I love about terrain is that when it comes ready to do the dry brush coat, it's usually super easy because you got so much surface area, and these elementals are like walking terrain, right? So I can just spike him up. Now this guy was like black and brown, and now, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, well, Beth, what class do you have to go to now? Gym. Gym class, the cornerstone of every nutritious high school experience. Well, kids, 
Here's the before and after. That's what this guy looked like before I did a dry brush coat. And that's what he looks like after. You can see it on the back even better. See that? Oh, wow. Yeah. That was very fast. Isn't that magical? Quite All right, magical. well, that's the end of this episode. When we come back next time, we'll see what progress Beth has made with her green troll. And will I ever finish Trizzle? Who knows? Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking and subscribing. And don't forget to share your own tips and tricks for painting minis or any other kind of terrain crafting in the comments below. I need some. Kay, love you. Bye. Do, 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 Promotional considerations made possible by Coke Zero. It's yummy and good for you, make you uh, hyper. Ah! I didn't. He, they were here and he was like, oof, and they, they fell. Is that enough, Dave? Hello and welcome to Crap. Hello and welcome. God damn it, Crawfa. Okay, now we're ready.